And finally tonight, you know that Nancy Pelosi is fading off into the sunset, no longer a member of Congress. She's, no, that's not it at all, is it? No, she's actually going to stay in Congress. That's sad. Uh, she won't be the Speaker of the House anymore. She won't be the minority leader in the House. She's not going to have any leadership position at all. She's going to be a backbencher, just chilling out, voting yes or no, and raking in the dough with whatever her personal appearances are and whatever backroom deals she gets for stock investment tips. But they're going to give her a title. It's called Speaker Emeritus. It doesn't mean anything, but it makes everybody feel better. So uh, that's all that matters. It's the left we're talking about after all. So the Democrats got together. They had to pick a new leader and they picked one. His name is Hakeem Jeffries. He's been a congressman for uh, just about 10 years. He comes out of New York, uh, in Brooklyn, in fact. That means the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, is from Brooklyn. And the leader of the House is also from Brooklyn for the Democrats. That's uh, two guys from Brooklyn leading the Democrats. That's a diverse party, isn't it? Anyway, Hakeem Jeffries. Who is this guy? What do we know about him? What direction are Democrats taking? Well, I don't know about you, but whenever I wonder about things like this, I go to the sage, wise direction of Whoopi Goldberg. This is, this is, you know, listen, he is the smartest person for that gig. He's, he's the right true. person. He's yeah. the smartest person. He is on par with Nancy Pelosi. No question. You know, so I, he has I'm that kind of strength. thrilled. What I found interesting was that some folks on the other side were already, he hadn't even been in yet. More than five minutes, they were like, oh man, we hate this guy. We don't like <laughs> And I just thought, give him a minute. Well, let's no, we're not going to give him a minute. We don't have to. I just told you he's been a congressman for 10 years, Whoopi. Uh, by the way, you got to love the irony of Whoopi Goldberg proclaiming that this is the smartest guy. I mean, if you're smart in Whoopi Goldberg, uh, Goldberg's eyes, you've got to be an Einstein, right? Whoopi Goldberg, by the way, also from Brooklyn. And, and Hakeem Jeffries is on a par with Nancy Pelosi from San Francisco. So again, the Democratic Party all the diversity in the world. I mean, you got Brooklyn and you got San Francisco and the rest of you in between. Yeah, you're on your own. But Whoopi didn't stop there. She had more to say. Um, it's nice actually to get some good news out of D.C. these days. But yesterday, New York Representative Hakeem Jeffries was elected as the first black party leader. I mean, he says he's committed to working across the aisle, but of course, you know, he'll push against the extremist views. I mean, I, I, everything is starting to feel like we might actually be able to have a conversations again about yeah. what we can do to make the country better. I think he's one of those, I was going to say one of those kids. He's not a kid, he's a man. <laughs> well, there's a lot revealed right there. First of all, you got to love the New York audience applauding the New York commentator telling you that it's good news a New Yorker just got elected to the leadership position for the Democrats. And also, uh, explain this to me, Whoopi Goldberg, when you started that out, you said, uh, finally, we're getting some good news out of Washington, D.C., her party runs this town. Her party has the White House, the House, and the Senate, and it's been a long time since we've had good news out of Washington. Well, whose fault is that? But we're told by Whoopi Goldberg that Hakeem Jeffries is gonna push back against the extremes. Really? And finally, we're gonna get something done. Again, Whoopi, if you haven't been able to get anything done, whose fault is that? You've had the majority in both houses and you've had the presidency. That's okay. Let's talk about Hakeem Jeffries pushing against the extreme. Hakeem Jeffries, a nice, sane, wise, moderate voice, wanting to get things done and reach across the aisle to actually fix this country and work together. Hakeem Jeffries is that guy. Well, let's see what Hakeem Jeffries has said in the past. We have a hater in the White House, the birther in chief. Uh, the Grand Wizard of 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Uh, one of the things that we've learned is that while Jim Crow may be dead, he still got some nieces and nephews that are alive and well. That's Hakeem Jeffries. That is Hakeem Jeffries. Calling President Trump the Grand Wizard, which by the way, last time I checked, the only actual Klansman 
that have been in government in the last 50 years in the United States of America were Democrats. That's Hakeem Jeffries. We're supposed to give him a chance. We're not supposed to prejudge him. That's Hakeem Jeffries. Same old story. That's all for tonight on O'Connor Tonight. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place. In the meantime, I will see you on the radio.